Hi, thank you for joining me again. We're going to talk about heart disease and K-means. Um, the information that we have used today has a lot of different categories. Um, gender, the chest pain, age. Um, it's, it's good information to know about heart disease. That's for sure. So we are going to use selected columns. I have noticed that it works better with the numerical features, so we're gonna stick with that age, um, cholesterol numbers, max heart rate, and uh, exercise, etc. There are, if we look at what orange suggests through the silhouette scores, um, it says two different categories, so we're gonna stick with that just two. It also keeps our numbers down low, so that's good. Um, here we have every every step. There's two different areas under the MDS that it talks about, and we're using the clusters. There we go. That's the age of the individuals. So the younger individuals are on the bottom and the hmm, generally older are on the top clusters. All right, so we have two, two sets of clusters there. Um, let's look at our scatter plot. And we're gonna look, the silhouette seem to be the same for everything. So we're gonna look at age and max heart rate. <clears throat> Let's see if we can look at this information. This is from our scatter plot. We're going to look at a data table. Cluster 1, silhouette group. 60s, 70s, 50s. So these are going to be older individuals. And they're resting 120, 130, 160. Let's see here. This is just the selected data that we used, maximum heart rate and age. So the older they are, their max heart rate is going to be lower than the younger individuals and their higher um, heart rate. So that's quite interesting. There's nothing selected here so that it says that there's an issue. If we were to go back into the scatter plot and select something else, then we could look at that in our data and see what it what it talks about. So there is some overlapping. You can see cluster one and cluster two. Um, but overall, it does divide up the information so that it is easily understood as a whole. So I think that that is a great resource for the k-means. And there's an algorithm that's behind there and a lot of math going on. And uh, that can be a good resource. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, this will be the assignment 13 for the heart disease. And then next we're gonna look at iris data. So please join us for that. Thank you.